Hey, what's up you guys? Virtual Memo here. Uh, welcome to my first ever mystery pickups. Um, I'm pretty sure you guys know the deal. Video game pickups, book pickups, etc. Books, movies, video games, uh, even some few accessories. Uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, again, this is my first one ever, so <laughs> let's see how it goes. Um, uh, so all these stuff that I'm about to show you, I've collected within the four months, you know, purchased, look for the right price. Um, yeah, so four months for sure. And if you guys uh, want to get a little um, sneak peek, definitely follow me on Instagram, virtual underscore memo. I definitely uh, tease, you know, my followers, uh, what's going to come up next on my videos, uh, arts, etc. Uh, yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Um, so again, thank you guys for... Uh, Staying here and let's get started. So let's start off with the handhelds. Uh, first up, uh, let's start with the Vita. I picked up Assassin's Creed Liberation. Um, so yeah, I uh, never played the game. Uh, again, I know it's an HD remake on the PS3, uh, you know, last generation consoles, but I wanted to play it on the Vita because I, I, I love the Vita definitely want to take it on the go and you know it started off there so uh, definitely want to try it out next up this game this game no joke this game I've been hooked um, and it's actually installed in my Vita right now uh, that game is FIFA 14 uh, now I know there's FIFA 15 but the reason I sticked with 14 is because it has online and I definitely didn't want to pay more for just the roster update and they basically they took away off uh, the online function so yeah no I'm sticking with 14 and I couldn't beat the price I think I got it for like nine bucks so definitely took that uh, next one this game looks awesome on the go on the Vita it's it's amazing what the Vita can do if you actually you know push the system push the hardware and, and it's, it's just awesome uh, that game is need for speed most wanted uh, played it uh, definitely definitely interesting I mean I, I I haven't played a Need for Speed in such a long time since PS2 days since PS2 most one that's pretty much it <laughs> but uh, great I mean I picked these games up for cheap so I'm definitely happy and uh, you know more more added to the Vita collection uh, next up is my DS uh, game that I picked up uh, there's only uh, two of them, but let me show you. First up, Grand Theft Auto Chinatown Wars. Now, I know it's on the Vita, uh, the better version, and obviously, uh, apparently the mobile, Apple, iOS devices, Androids, all that stuff, they have the superior version, but I can't do touch screens, so yeah, I, I want to stick to the, you know, the old school buttons, analog stick, and uh, Chinatown Wars originally came out on the DS, so I want to play it on there first before I move on to the PS Vita. So, got that one for 12 bucks. And next, the next one, and last of the DS is Okami Den. So this one, I'm a, again, awesome. I picked it up for 10 bucks as well. And I've never played the original Okami. Yep, 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 yep. But... Uh, I just recently heard they're gonna remaster it for the PS4, so I I will play it. I will play. It. I will purchase it uh, physical. I'm pretty sure it's physical. I hope it is. But awesome again to add to my DS collection. So let me put these here. Uh, next up is 3DS. So I guess I'm gonna do handhelds first, <laughs> and then move on to the console. Uh, two bucks. Adventure time. Can't complain. Two bucks. It's a Zelda 2 pretty much game. Uh, but awesome. Two bucks. I can't complain about that game. Following after that is Gunvolt. Um, it's basically Mega Man. Uh, but uh, it's it's awesome. It's it's awesome. I I wish Capcom can release a new school a new generation of Mega Man on the handheld and bring it to the Vita <laughs> uh, but amazing game awesome and it's two games in one so can't go wrong with that I think that one was 18 bucks 
Um, so yeah, let's put these two to the side. Uh, this one's a masterpiece. That's pretty much it. Zelda Majora's Mask. Uh, I, not much to say. I mean, you guys, any gamer knows Zelda. Uh, and I think I have stated before, but Majora's Mask and Twilight are my favorite. <laughs> I know blasphemy. No, uh, Ocarina of Time is awesome. But for uh, Ocarina, uh, Wind Waker, uh, this, the Breath of the Wild. But Majora and Twilight, I love the dark setting to it. And that's what, that's what caught my attention immediately. And I love those two games. Uh, so yeah, masterpiece. Mario Tennis. Can't go wrong with Mario in the sport game. Um, you know, it brings back when I played the GameCube version and the 64 version. So much fun playing against the family, friends. It's awesome. So I had to get it for the 3DS. Another classic. Star Fox 3D. So, yeah. Um, I had to get it. And the 3D, the 3D is amazing for this game. You know, I thought it was a gimmick, the 3D. I never used it. But Star Fox, wow. It, it's, it's beautiful. It is beautiful. Uh, last but not least, Tomodachi Life. Um, <laughs> that this game is addicting, so addicting that my girlfriend is hooked to the game, and that's the reason why she has my 3DS. So yeah, she's she, she's playing my 3DS. So I. I She's been playing my 3DS and I've been playing my Vita. But this game is so quirky, it's so weird. And you just have to keep coming back to see like what are what are these people doing? What are they doing? And uh, it's just funny. Uh, I don't like Sims games, but I had to pick it up because I've seen reviews, I've seen people playing it, and it's just it's just awesome. Uh, they gotta make something like this for the Switch. If they do. I'll buy it day one. <laughs> Alright, so that is the handheld. Let's move on to the consoles. And let's start with the PS3. Uh, a game that got a lot of flack and people don't, they don't like it much, but I love it. I love the show, so I had to get it. The Simpsons game. Yeah, it's a great game. Um, I got it for 10 bucks, so I can't complain. And this game is still pretty pricey. I think it's like, it's still 20 bucks or so at GameStop, but a lot, I don't know. I don't know why this game is so expensive. But again, got it for cheap, couldn't pass up. And I love the show, so I have to play it. This game, if you guys see my PS3 collection, you guys know that I love this series. And I did hear, you know, not so good things about it, about this one. But when you play it in co-op, it's a whole different story. That is Dead Space 3. Awesome game. I'm playing it with my girlfriend. Um, as you know, th th during this week, um, I've been playing this game. It's amazing. Uh, it reminds me of Resident Evil 5 where it's not scary anymore. It's action, but it it's fun. It is so fun when you play with a co-op partner. Um, amazing game. So I don't really see the bad thing about it. I, I loved it. I, I'm loving it so far. Uh, next up is a game that I didn't pick up and I guess because I was tired of a certain company and you guys know what it is if you've seen my video my ps3 video and that is Rockstar now I don't hate them it's not like I hate Grand Theft Auto uh, Red Dead Redemption etc I just get bored of it quickly like the missions are like go get this guy go this get this guy and I just I get bored um, I did beat those games though. Um, yeah, I passed up on this game. I don't know why, but finally found it at a ridiculous price. I think I paid six bucks for it, so I had to buy it. And I want to see it for myself because I hear it has amazing uh, bullet action. I don't know. Next up, another game that I missed out. That is The Saboteur. I've seen a lot of videos of it. Definitely interesting, uh, definitely catches my attention. Can't wait to play it. Four bucks for this one. 
This one, ooh, I loved it. I loved the second one, and I was looking for this one because I wanted it complete with the sleeve. That game is Battlefield Bad Company uh, Gold Edition. So, I love the second one. The, the single player is funny, and you just demolish everything. Um, oh, not everything, but you can demolish buildings, they collapse, all that stuff. It's, it's awesome, and I can't wait to play this. And happy that I found it with the sleeve, which is pretty nice. And this one, another one with the sleeve. And I'm happy that I got it in the condition it is because I've seen, the most of the time I see this very, very um, torn up. That is Dante's Inferno. So, uh, I mean, I, I love Dante. I, I actually took a college course in my, on my, in my university and yeah, I mean, I love the po the poem. Obviously, it's not exactly what the poem is, but I can't wait to play it because I love Dante's Inferno. All right, next up is the PS4 games. And let's start off with a game that I picked up in Europe. It's available here for sure, but nowhere near the price, the, a price that I will not pay for it. I, will, I simply won't pay for that for that price. That is... Gravity Rush Remastered and I love the cover to this one uh, more than the American release um, Yeah, uh, my Vita collection you guys know that I love this game uh, I found it. I think they were selling it for 17 euros and Yeah, no-brainer. I had to pick it up um, And again, if you guys don't know PlayStation is region free uh, So you can play it in English Yeah, no way I'm gonna pay like 90 bucks that people are selling it um, a game that I uh, showed on my PS4 collection, and I love it. I'm about to beat the second part, of, not the second part, but the second side of it. Uh, infamous uh, Second Son. Uh, I'm about to beat the evil side, so I'm about to platinum the game. This game's fun. Um, I don't, I'm, I don't understand the hate that uh, people have with the game, but I love it. Uh, another game I picked up in Europe for 18 euros that is Infamous First Light so again uh, I picked it up physical out there and uh, you guys know me I don't like digital unless it's the last resort uh, but I had to pick this up physical and I'm happy because I love Second Sun and I can't wait to play this one apparently I hear this one's actually better than the game than the original game so We'll see. Next up, a game that I picked up for nine bucks. I missed it. I missed out on this game, and I just hear it's a Batman open world. And when you say, obviously they're talking about Arkham, Arkham open world. Yeah, I had to get it. Mad Max. Uh, I hear it's very underrated. I'm happy I got it for the price I, I purchased, and I can't wait to play it. Uh, a game I picked up in Europe because it was on sale for 18 euros out there. Uh, and I love the series. You guys will know if you guys see my previous videos. You guys definitely know what it is. Uh, Metal Gear, the definitive experience. Uh, I have to play it. Um, I know Konami, Hideo Kojima didn't get along. But I, I just have to finish it. I have to finish Metal Gear. Uh, so happy I picked it up complete with both games in it uh, this game I picked up before I left to Europe if you guys watch my previous video you guys know why I had to get it uh, near Automata day one edition so I don't normally pay day one price but in this case I had to because I love near um, yeah again if you guys want more details definitely check out my ps3 video the last game I picked up in Europe Sports game, Europe, football, uh, PES 2017, picked it up for 19 euros, had to pick it up, um, and I love PES, uh, I love PES more than FIFA, if they made it for the Vita, I would have gotten that one, but yeah, uh, you can't go wrong with PES. This game I can't wait to play during the month of Halloween, which is coming very soon, that is until dawn um i hear lots and lots of good things about this game so i was happy i purchased it for nine bucks 
And yeah, I, ca I can't wait to play it. Oh, that looks like an eye too. On it. Let me see. <laughs> Until dawn. Yeah, I can't wait to play it. Um, another game I picked up before I left. Um, and I bought this at GameStop for 35 bucks. And I couldn't pass it up because originally it can't. Uh, it cost like 80, 85 or something like that. Uh, that's Final Fantasy Deluxe Edition. So yeah, case leave. Uh, the, the movie, I couldn't pass it up. So I'm happy with that. Uh, last of the video games is another game that the first one just blew me blew me away because I didn't expect it to be this good. So I was happy, although I had to wait a year for it uh, for it to come to the PS4. Rise of the Tomb Raider. Yeah, I can't wait to play it. Um, I'm playing Infamous Second Son right now. I'm probably gonna be done by it probably within, maybe even tonight uh, when this video is posted or long before the video is posted. Uh, but that's the next game I'm gonna play, Tomb Raider. So I can't wait to play this game. All right, so that's the video game part. Uh, let's check the movies I bought recently. Again, um, I bought this all within four months since May. Till May, May till August, I, you know, good. I haven't purchased anything in September. I've, you know, I've been just chill playing my games and watching my movies. So I got this one for eleven dollars. Rush Hour trilogy, awesome artwork. Yeah, it's Rush Hour. I can literally say all the lines in Rush Hour too, because it's just so damn amazing. And yeah, I couldn't pass it up. Rush Hour, definitely awesome. I saw this in Europe and I had to purchase it when I came back home and that is the Raid Collection. If you guys don't know what, uh, if you guys don't know what this movie is, please look it up. Action pack, action pack. Just think of it like 80s old school action, uh, Matrix style, just a classic Bruce Lee fights. It's, it's just amazing. Uh, check the reviews. It's, it's 14 bucks at Best Buy with the second movie as well, which I still have to see, but the first one is just, wow. Uh, last one, that is Alien Covenant. Uh, still sealed, uh, steel book. I love this movie, watched it in theaters. I, I loved it, so I was waiting till uh, it was released on Blu-ray. So, that's it for the movies. And let's go to these um, tech, I think they're books, graphic novels, um, comic-y. Uh, I don't know, uh, maybe you guys will tell me what it is. Uh, it's a graphic novel, I believe for sure. Um, first book, Persepolis. Uh, definitely uh, interesting and definitely recommend it it's a uh, I heard a lot of good things about it so uh, um, definitely wanted to pick it up so the complete edition which is awesome I picked this up in my local bookstore used bookstores um, at a very very good price uh, second one just a well just looking at it it's pretty interesting that is mouse yeah it's definitely interesting uh, again it's comic graphic novel um, pretty hardcore from what the images I've seen and from what I've read it's two comics one two the complete edition second one yeah uh, definitely check it out you guys um, again it's another book that I was interested in and uh, recommended so I definitely want to look it up at my used bookstore and you know, pay pay good price for it. Uh, last one. Again, that mouse book. I was while I was looking at the at my used bookstore, uh, a girl came up to me and she says, "Oh wow, you, you you're gonna love this book, etc. Cetera, etc." Cetera. Like, what are your other books? And obviously, I explained the other books I like. And she said, "If you like mouse, you definitely have to check out this book." Um, they didn't have it at the bookstore, so I had to order this one online, and I got it for fifteen bucks, twelve bucks, or so. Um, this book is massive, so let me just, let me just move this to the side here, or a little bit up here. 
This book is called Footnotes in Gaza. Let me see, let me just flip the book here. Yeah. <laughs> so I can't wait to read it. And there you go, guys. That is my mystery pickups video. My first pickups video and We'll see till the next one goes, maybe another four or five months <laughs> until the next one. Um, oh, last but not least, I picked this up at uh, San Francisco, had a uh, Comic-Con convention uh, that happened recently, and I decided to pick this up because, again, you guys know by my old videos what video game series I love, and I had to pick this up. Oh yeah, Solid Snake. Uh, like that pixel, the pixel art. I, I don't know how you call it. I, th I call it pixel art. But there you go, guys. Uh, thank you guys for watching my first ever pickup. Uh, again, um, if you guys uh, like what you see, definitely subscribe. I mean, you guys definitely uh, push me and definitely encourage me to make more videos. And again, uh, if you guys don't um, know, I do have an Instagram account, uh, virtual underscore memo post lots of pictures there. I definitely like to um, give my uh, audience followers a sneak peek of what I'm going to do next uh, video wise etc. There you go guys. Uh, thank you guys all for watching and until next time. Take care you guys. Later.